Chapter 9, How Suns Bring uh, Heaven and Cash Flow Back to Earth. <laughs> so if we're going to talk about going to the courts of heaven and bringing back the kingdom, and we're going to do it with businessmen, uh, we, we need to be clear on exactly what we bring back. So I mentioned I carried a bias about, you know, can we bring back, you know, miracles and breakthroughs. The answer is yes, but I want to suggest that primarily what you bring back is purpose. And the clarity on that purpose is what, uh, in a business setting, can create value and cash flow. Um, the wisdom of heaven over your life will prosper you, not, not just in finances, but in every area. And, and I want to suggest that uh, it's more important that uh, you, know, you hear every word that proceeds out of the Father's mouth than it is for you to become a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> now, those two are not opposed so that every place in, in scripture that uh, talks about prosperity that, that's almost always linked to wisdom and I, I want to suggest that when you go to the council and meet the spirit of wisdom there is a connection with the practical aspects of um, you know, life on earth um, so what do you bring back primarily it's uh, clarity of direction and authority to make it happen so there's a there's a huge impact on the prophetic authority uh, that you bring to the table uh, when you have just seen what the Father's doing. <laughs> and that doesn't mean you need to, you know, start out with thus saith the Lord and prophesy it, although sometimes that's, that's the case. Um, we bring that purpose back to declare it and decree it, but mostly to do it. So what you see revealed in heaven is primarily about your purpose and that's why i encourage people to take you know like their mind map or some definition of their purpose to the council it is because you can get um, direction from that so uh, i i just have really appreciated you know getting acquainted with the spirit of wisdom in in, in the sense of uh, applying it in my own life so the idea that, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, some spiritual entity is going to give us the perfect stock investment option or give us some kind of an insider knowledge to break through, that doesn't, uh, it can happen. I'm, I'm just saying that that's not the norm. Uh, the norm is a great idea to create value that really blesses people that they want to buy and makes your business healthy. Um, so in the sense of, um, you know, making money, <clears throat> the, the, uh, there's a good paragraph in here that I'm not going to repeat all the details, but the concept of, of wealth in Deuteronomy 8.18 is creating value. It's, uh, the word is usually translated valiant ones. That's about the only place it's translated wealth. Um, and so we're bringing back the value of heaven in terms of purpose and direction. And uh, that does relate to, um, you know, healthy businesses and healthy cash flow uh, indirectly. But it's not the concept of, uh, you know, bringing back pieces of gold <laughs> from heaven <laughs> or gold flakes or all that. that and that does happen, but people are not starting businesses, you know, based on, bringing back gold from heaven um, so it's, it's more of a confirmation so I just want to encourage you to um, to realize that uh, this process uh, what your tribe will be going through you know sometimes successful people are harder to reach than people that are in the valley of their life's journey but people always go through both phases um, so the the common denominator is is always um, the, the con our consistency in the council and our ability to hear from the Father. So I want to help help you help your tribe, you know, not get the dial tone <laughs> when you go to the council. And if you go, you know, looking for the right thing and, and you're persistent about it, you know that your Father in heaven wants to talk to you, wants to include you in his plans, wants to embrace you wants to unveil your purpose, uh, that's huge. Uh, that's the level of authority. And I want to suggest that, uh, you know, the degree of difficulty 
uh, about bringing things back is, uh, and I learned this by going to a conference myself, and I was really impressed that the brother shared an illustration of something he caught a glimpse of in the council, but it wasn't fully explained. He did not fully understand it, and he just held that. He had faith that as they went on to other things, other times, other council sessions, but he had faith that the Father would show him that eventually, and he wasn't afraid to keep bringing it up and asking the question. <laughs> and that's the attitude I think that's important for sons to have, and that is if if something isn't clear, if you don't, uh, you know, get the full answer, um, and and I have not had that happen by and large. I, I've been, I've had more to write down than I could keep up with. <laughs> but I want to suggest that when you run into a tough issue or a tough season in your life, that uh, you trust your father to show you, um, you know, the way through it, and he will. I, I just want to, can't encourage you enough of the value of going from strength to strength uh, by being present in the council, going from uh, kahil to kahil. It's the same word in Deuteronomy 8.18 where it's translated wealth. Uh, it's being a son, a valiant one, one who can do exploits for your father, one who has clarity of direction and uh, knows you know, how to get the job done. That's what excites me about marrying this concept of courts and counsel with um, you know business vision is that it's that practical. That's my my reason for writing this book and for um, you know doing these courses and for mentoring people is that uh, I I I'm a, I was raised on a ranch in Montana. I'm a chemical engineer. I, I want it to work for people. I want it to work in our businesses. I want it to I want the system. Uh, of both the kingdom in heaven and the kingdom on earth to work together. And I want, us, and I want sons to know how to uh, make this thing work. So uh, I think you'll find this concept of bringing uh, provisions, bringing purpose back from heaven very helpful and uh, very balancing uh, in terms of your trips to the council. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm releasing sons and daughters, Father, not only to um, be in the council, to see what you're doing, to get the revelation of the council, but to bring back purpose for their own lives and to see it uh, manifest on earth and to make your name great in Jesus' mighty name. We just uh, release an anointing for sons to be present in the council and to bring heaven to earth, to bind and to loose, to have the keys of the kingdom in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Go for it.